Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 1e of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. The question I'm going to do is number 6. So there's the drawing for question 6 where we have the vector q here of magnitude 13 units and the vector p. Now the book it says it's 34 units but I know it's an actual fact a typo and that's 35 units. We're also given two angles, angle beta for the vector q and angle alpha for vector p. We're also given that the they were given here that tan alpha is equal to 4 over 3 and tan beta is equal to 5 over 12. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, we need to resolve these these resultant vectors into their component unit vectors. So we, we do the dropping of the perpendiculars and so on. So look, let's just go do that. Alright, so I'm just going to move this down here. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is as normal we draw our x-axis and our y-axis. Right, I'm not going to draw the unit vectors because they haven't changed. We're going to call this the vector Q of magnitude 13 units at an angle beta. Now we know that tan beta is equal to 5 over 12. So therefore beta is equal to inverse tan 5 over 12. Shift tan 5 divided by 12. Gives you tan beta, sorry, gives you beta at an angle of 22 degrees. Okay. Next, we know from Sakatoa that sine is equal to opposite over adjacent, like that. Therefore, the opposite is equal to h sine, whatever the angle is, theta. So in this case, the opposite, which is here, is equal to h, which is 13, times the sine of 22. That should be nothing new to you. So this here is equal to 13 sine 22. This is equal to 13 cosine 22. Let's check that out. 13 times the sine of 22 is equal to 4.8, which is equal to 5. And 13 times the cos of 22 is 222. So 13 times the cos of 22 is equal to what? 12.05. Uh, and look, 5 and 12. So that's correct. So we know we're correct, first of all. So that's P done. So it's, we'll say, 5 in the j-hat direction and 5 in the i-hat direction. Remember, of course, your quadrants, which are very important. This defined plus and plus, so plus, plus, minus, plus, minus minus uh, plus minus. Why is that? Well look, plus is up for j and plus is to the right for i. So that's why this quadrant has both pluses. i is changed sign over here so it's minus. Both have changed sign and only one has changed sign. Right, you should have seen that loads of times at this stage. So let's do the vector p. So the vector p is magnitude of 35. Well, let, what, What's its angle? Its angle is 4 over 3. So we go inverse 10 4 divided by 3 to get the actual angle for alpha. It says that alpha is equal to 53 degrees. That's the first thing. So, using Sokoto again, we're going to resolve this resultant vector into its component unit vectors. The two vectors are this one and this one, because if you add the two of them, you get this resultant here called P. Alright. From Sokoto, we know that this is 13 times the sine of 53. This is 13 times the cos of 53. Let's see if that's the correct. So 13 sine 53 is equal to 10. 13 times the cosine of 53 is equal to, let's say, 8, 10 and 8. So 10, oh, it's 10 and 8, and it should be 4 and 3. No, that's, that's correct. 10 and 8. No, that's correct. So it's equal to 10, and that's equal to 8. I'm having a bit of an off day today. I'm sorry about that now. So let's, well, look, I'm going to plow on anyway, see if we can get this correct. So look, this, this, uh, this is in the, the positive j hat, this is in the positive i hat. So if you want to add the two vectors together, 
Right, we want to add the two vectors together, p plus q. In actual fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check and see if that's correct. So we're doing 1e question 6. Would you believe me if I told you it's not in the back of the book? That's a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah, I have a feeling I've made a mistake somewhere. I'm not too sure where it is, but uh, the theory still counts. If you can do the theory, to be honest, it's that the rest the rest should follow. So p plus q would just be a matter of adding this vector and this vector for i hat, and this vector and this vector for j hat. And to be honest, I'm not going to do that because we've done it plenty of times. So look, I'm sorry about this one, but um, subscribe to my channel, please. If this video is useful to you, which it probably isn't, um, send it on to your friends. And hope you uh, enjoyed watching that. Thank you.